Hi family, and thanks for stopping by. Today on the menu I have beef stroganoff made with leftover roast beef. And these are the ingredients. I have the roast beef that I've sliced thin. I have some beef broth, sour cream, egg noodles, and these are the smaller ones. I like the smaller ones. You can get the use the bigger one if if you like. I have a couple of shakes of Wor Worcestershire sauce, and I have some all-purpose flour, some butter, some sliced onions, some mushrooms, and some sliced garlic. And this is the kind of um, this is the kind of meal that you kind of have to use your own judgment because I have no measurements as you can see I'm just going to use it accordingly and it usually comes out well don't be afraid to try it let's begin cooking I have my water boiling for my noodles always add some salt to your noodles so they won't be bland you want them to have some flavor too I'm going to add my noodles. Switch them around so they don't stick together. And let them cook for about for about six to eight minutes. You can set your timer to remind you. You don't want them overcooked. They overcook easily. And then take them off and drain them and set them aside. In my pan, I <coughs> excuse me, melted some butter. I'm going to add my onions. Let's do it this way. My onions, my chopped garlic, and my mushrooms. I'm going to kind of toss this around in the pan until my onions are clear, translucent, see-through. Turn it up a little bit. This is about how you want them to look when I say translucent. Let me let you see. Clear. Spot you want them. Now I'm going to remove them from the pan, this pan, and in this same pan without rinsing it or anything we're going to add our beef. Now in the same pan like I said we're going to add the beef. We're going to cook that for a few minutes. Recook it rather because it is leftovers. We're going to add some of this beef broth. And a couple of little drops of this Worcestershire sauce. That's about all you need. And then we're going to cover this and let it simmer. Turn it down to simmer. And cover it and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. It has simmered for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to add some flour into my the rest of my beef broth. I'm adding my flour and the rest of my broth that I've mixed well and I'm going to add some sour cream get it to going 
maybe a little bit more. The heat has to come back up. I'm gonna add some pepper. We're going to let the heat come back up on this. Okay, the heat is back up. And I'm going to add the mushrooms and onions and garlic that we set aside. And you may or may not want salt. Taste taste to see. Nah, I don't need any, but you may like some. I'm going to let this cook for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to do our last step. I added a little shake of garlic powder and a little bit of heavy cream. Those things are optional, but, you know, that's the way you do. You taste and make it taste the way you want it to taste. Just add it to your liking. Now I'm adding my noodles. Turn it off. You always add things, you know, ingredients and, and, and different things, little at a time. So you'll get it just like you want it. If you want to make it colorful. Add you some parsley. Like this. Or you can chop you some scallions, green onions. You can use some chives. And uh, I'm going to plate this up. And there you have it. Beef stroganoff. And on the side I have pickled beets. That just add a little something to the stroganoff might want to give it a try. Well friends, thanks for hanging out with me. It's always fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And don't forget to pray. And then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for them. Pray for you. Pray for us. Then pray again. Don't stop praying. Pray. And until next, next time friends, be well.